Bees provide us with an invaluable service by pollinating the plants we grow. Whether big or small, there are things every garden can do to help them. My grandfather was a beekeeper, but unfortunately he passed away before I could learn any of his secrets. Like you, I've had to learn from books and experience. Whether your goal is to become a backyard beekeeper or ultimately develop a commercial beekeeping operation, the ebook found in the link below will give you the foundation of knowledge required to successfully attract bees for pollination and growing your hives. Let's start off by addressing the most asked question by the beginner beekeeper How to attract bees for pollination? Attracting bees and other pollinators into your garden is very important as these valuable insects pollinate so many of the fruits and veggies we grow. Without them, the veggie patch and orchard would look pretty bare. Even though honey bees are the best known pollinators, there are many other insect pollinators that we can attract, including native bees, pollen beetles, adult hoverflies, some moths, and more. Despite their diversity, they're all after one thing, and that's the food found in flowers, pollen, and nectar. In the world of flowers, though, some are more attractive to pollinators than others. This is because they may have more pollen and nectar than other flowers. Or they may flower at a time when there aren't many other plants in flower. Or the flower structure may just be more conducive to landing and feasting. There are plenty of plants which will attract bees and other pollinators, but here are some of the very best Alyssum, Cosmos, Queen Anne's Lace, Calendula, Phacelia, Daisies, Salvias, Penstemons. Lavender, rosemary, oregano, borage, basil, yarrow, dill, parsley, eucalyptus, grevilleas, bottlebrushes, budlia, abelia, and tea trees. Recently, there's been a surge of insect hotels for sale in stores and DIY instructions available online. However, pollinators will naturally find existing nooks and crannies for nesting and sheltering in without the need for an official hotel. But hey, they do look cute though, and if they attract some native solitary bees and other guests, that's just a bonus. Increasingly, gardeners are also installing small hives of native stingless bees to boost pollination. These native bees only produce small quantities of honey and don't need to be intensively managed like honey bees. They are best for areas with mild winters and can be left undisturbed whilst they go about their pollinating business. If you live in an area which is too cold to keep a stingless hive, there are still many other native bees that can help with pollination. Again, if you want to learn beekeeping, you can learn more by clicking the link below this video. This guide was developed to give you the foundation of knowledge that every beekeeper must have to successfully maintain their hives.